LBG News starts now with breaking news. And we are continuing our coverage of this breaking news tonight. Two children have been shot on North State Street in Jackson in front of UMMC. And here's Maggie Wade with the very latest. here on North State Street. This section of North State right in front of UMMC is still blocked off. Uh, police continuing their investigation. As you said, two children were injured, one shot in the leg, one in the torso. Right now we have with us Jackson Police Chief James Davis. And Chief, tell us about what happened. We know that the mother was traveling down North State Street and saw an arm come out of a car and multiple shots were fired. Yes, we got a call shortly before 530. Uh, on this evening uh, where we received a call where uh, shots were being fired. And the mother uh, stated that she was traveling south on State Street when a black sedan with a uh, cannon paper tag on the back pulled up, arm um, come out the window, fired into her car, striking two kids. One kid, one year old, was shot in the leg and a three-year-old was shot in the chest. However, they are in stable conditions, non-life-threatening injuries uh, at this time. You're searching for the suspect, but this initially came out as an active shooter here on the campus at UMMC. Employees received alert alerts as well as students to shelter in place. And we're hearing the sound coming from this garage. So with the mother running into the hospital with those two injured babies, you, that is where that happened. And UMMC took the necessary precautions to keep people safe. Yeah, they did, and as you can hear right here, if you pull up here standing in the street, whatever those cars are running over, it sounds like a shot being fired. So I assume that's why the call came in as an uh, active shooter. Now, at this point, what are you doing as far as the investigation is concerned? Talking to the mother, uh, I know she's there with her babies. They're being treated here at UMMC. Yeah, we're talking to the mother, trying to get all the evidence that we possibly can. We're trying to talk to witnesses. We uh, partner with UMMC to try to get any surveillance that we possibly can to solve this case. Now, we also know that multiple shots were fired. You had multiple shell casings involved here. Yes, we had a, yeah, multiple shell casings on the ground right where the car was uh, fired into. The first thing that comes to your mind is what possible motive could someone have to fire into a car with two babies inside? It's, it's apparent to be social issues. It's, it's uh, people resolving their conflicts by pulling out handguns fire, firing into. So it wasn't an isolated incident. That person pulled up to that particular car, fired in that particular car for unknown reasons. Nobody else's car was fired into. So that tells me it's a social issue. It's an issue where people have to resolve their issues without pulling out handguns, shooting. Each other. How long before you clear this area? Right now, traffic is not being allowed on North State Street in this area right in front of UMMC. Cars can go out uh, from the campus, but they're not being allowed in this area. Yeah, we're just making sure that we are covering all our bases, collecting all the evidence we possibly can to solve this, this case. We also saw police officers inside the garage canvassing that garage just to make sure they could give UMMC the all clear. Yes, yes. We're just making sure that the people visiting UMC are safe and also they're making sure that the suspect car wasn't in there. So the car, that, that particular car wasn't, wasn't on campus. Just to take an extra precaution to ensure that everybody's safe. If anyone has any information about the gunman, the person who fired these shots, what is the best thing they can do at this point? They can call 601-960-1234 or call 601-355-TIPS. And we just only need their information, not the name. The babies are in stable condition, so at this point you expect them to be okay? Yes. They, yeah, the report that I got from the hospital, they are in stable condition, which is good. All right. Chief Davis, thank you so much for talking with us. You heard it. The children, one and three years old, they are in stable condition being treated here at UMMC. That's the good news. Right now, Jackson police are searching for the person responsible for this shooting. It happened right here on North State Street in front of UMMC. We are continuing to follow this still developing story as well as the investigation with Jackson Police. Reporting live from Jackson, Maggie Wade, three on your side. And of course, that portion of State Street's going to be shut down for a while as well as the perimeter of UMMC. Our Patrick Ellis is in Skycopter with an exclusive look at what's going on from above. Patrick? 
Hey there, Howard. Uh, we are continuing to watch this very closely. Of course, State Street is shut down right now from uh, Lakeland all the way back over to Woodrow Wilson. We've seen some people on Woodrow Wilson trying to turn onto State Street. That's going to be a no-go right there uh, where the uh, active scene is still ongoing, uh, where we have uh, still a very heavy police presence. Though over the last probably 10 or 15 minutes, we've noticed that the police presence has lessened a little bit as things continue to de-escalate a little bit. Uh, earlier, we watched the uh, vehicle, the gray vehicle, that was uh, described uh, with the uh, with the two children inside of it, the mother and, the, and everything of that sort, that was taken away on a uh, on a tow truck away from the scene uh, probably about 10 or 15 minutes ago down State Street. And again, we have noticed that they have the uh, area cordoned off. You will not be, when you, when you try to turn on to uh, State Street from Woodrow Wilson, there's a barricade there. You're not going to be able to go past there. Uh, again, we're just kind of watching the other spots. Of course, this does not affect St. Dom's. This does not affect over towards the VA, so if you have to go to those two hospitals, that's not the issue. It's right along State Street uh, where you're not going to be able to get to UMMC at this point in time. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated here from Skycopter. I'm Patrick Ellis. All right, thanks a lot, Patrick. And our team coverage continues with Amber Gerard, who's on State Street as well. What's the latest there, Amber? That's right, I'm on State Street in Woodrow Wilson. And it seems like there are a few police officers are still left, the majority of them have gone. Um, things were are much calmer now. When I first got here, the scene, as you can imagine, was quite chaotic. And I did see officers putting markers down where they found shell casing. But right now, the scene has been clear for a while. And what police are focusing on right now is finding the person responsible for hurting these children. In Jackson, Amber Gerard three on your side. All right, Amber, thanks a lot. And to recap the events of the day around 530, uh, shots fired from one vehicle into another vehicle on North State Street. Two children, ages one and three, injured. One was shot in the leg, the other in the torso or chest area, as the police chief uh, just outlined. They are looking for a suspect right now. Earlier today, it was characterized as an active shooter at UMMC, but it was not actually an active shooting situation. But that was for safety uh, for staff and students at UMMC as a precaution. All is clear there at UMMC right Right now and traffic resumes as normal within that facility but traffic along North State Street in front of UMMC is still blocked off as they investigate what's going on now the person who fired the shots that injured those two children or persons is still out there and police are trying to find them or him or her and get them in custody we're still covering this we have teams on the scene and we'll have much more after this. We're bringing in Melissa Faith Payne now, who's also been uh, following this, and you can't imagine the horror of people hearing that there's an active shooter on the scene, folks working at UMMC, especially with all that's been going on in the country with Absolutely. active shooters, mass shootings, what have you. So thankfully, it's an all clear situation right now, but we still have two children injured. When the call first came out, um, employees there at UMC got text messages from the people there at UMC telling them to find a place to hide right. uh, and to stay put as they handled the scene. Uh, we heard the police chief talk a little bit earlier how they thought it was an active shooter in the parking garage because of when they when people drive by and you right. see you can hear That's that loud click, click, yeah that yeah. rattle mm -hmm. sound and people thought right. that those were shots that were fired when actually those shots were fired you can see the car right here mm -hmm. they were fired at that car that gray sedan which was driven by a mom with two small children in the back now earlier when Maggie was speaking with the police chief he talked about all of those uh, shell casings that were there on the ground right. beside that vehicle and when he described it it was really chilling he talked about how she was driving there on UMC, uh, driving there on State Street, mm -hmm. and that car pulled alongside her, the window rolled down, mm -hmm. and an arm came out, and those shots were fired. Several shots, it's the terrifying. mom, not injured, right. but she was able to stop the car. She grabbed those kids and then ran onto the campus there at UMC. Thankfully, the one-year-old shot in the leg, the three-year-old shot in the torso, right. both in stable condition. Just a few moments ago, I do know that employees at UMC did receive that text message saying it's all clear come to work. 
uh, because things are safe there and they do right. need to come on back to work, uh, working these evening shifts. Public Affairs Director Mark Roth is speaking with the media right now. Let's go to that live. So I notification, uh, basically uh, uh, get safe, uh, get in your office. If you're, if you're out in the ground somewhere, get indoors. Um, and you know, so so we did take that action, and and then it wasn't until a determination was made by law enforcement uh, and other uh, emergency operators that this this situation had and, been diffused. And, and I guess the regular business of taking care of patients, with doctors and nurses, expected to still go on in an active shooter situation. Well, obviously, what 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 is uh, emergent will continue. What's not emergent. We'll, we'll pause until until it's determined that the uh, all areas are safe. How are you and today's with client, the police department, and getting maybe surveillance and things of that nature. In the I police don't unit. know anything about that right now. I know Jackson Police Department and U.S. Marshals are they're the leads in this. Let's talk about in today's climate. You know, it's it's better to be safe than to be sorry because you don't know. So the best thing to do is protect the people who are here on this campus. Well, that's what we did. Um, uh, we didn't know, as we said, this this uh, was not actually on our campus, it was near our campus, but we're gonna take precautions uh, until we know for certain that everybody is safe. It's a horrible situation, but thankfully, thankfully, the uh, children will be okay. They're in stable condition with one shot in the leg, one shot in the torso area. Our Maggie Wade is standing by live with uh, new information. Maggie? Um, yes, Howard, I just talked with Mark Roth. He's with the Public Affairs Department here at UMMC, and he explained that, again, they wanted to make sure they wanted to be safe, not sorry. And when the calls came in that there was an active shooter on the campus, that's when the alert went out. Um, they do this drill often to make sure that they can keep the patients as well as their staff, the employees and students safe on the UMMC campus. But, again, there was no active shooter on UMMC's campus, but we did have the shooting here on North State Street. The children are being treated right now, evaluated at UMMC. Uh, Mark, Mark Roth also confirmed that, that they're being treated here. They are in stable condition. We'll continue to monitor this situation. Jackson Police actively looking for the shooter right now. Back to you. All right, Maggie, thanks a lot, and we certainly thank you for joining us. We will continue to cover this uh, developing story uh, throughout the evening and updates as they become available. Hopefully, we will be able to report that a suspect is in custody. At this point, that is just not the case. That's right, but if you do, do know anything about someone driving that Nissan, a black Nissan, it's got right. a Canon paper tag last seen going south on Woodrow Wilson around that time, you were asked to call Jackson Police immediately to Please help them do. solve this case. If you see something, say something, call mm -hmm. police call Crime Stoppers. We need to get the person responsible for this horrible, heinous crime. That's right. The call first went out as an active shooter at parking garage B at UMMC. The alert sent to employees and students. They were told to hide in locked rooms or fight as a last resort. The shooting actually happened on North State Street right in front of the hospital. We got a call shortly before 5.30. Uh, on this evening uh, where we received a call where uh, shots were being fired. The mother tells police a car pulled up next to her and opened fire. When she realized her children were shot, she ran with them into the hospital. The mother uh, stated that she was traveling south on State Street when a black sedan with a uh, cannon paper tag on the back pulled up um, come out the window, fired into her car. The children are one and three years old. They are now being treated at UMMC in stable condition. He had one year old was shot in the leg and a three year old was shot in the chest. However, they are in stable conditions, non life threatening injuries uh, at this time. Jackson Police, the Mississippi Highway Patrol, federal agents, and UMMC police all respond. Shell casings were marked and the search underway for the shooter. We're talking to the mother, trying to get all the evidence that we possibly can. We're trying to talk to witnesses. We uh, partner with UMMC to try to get any surveillance that we possibly can to solve this case. No one was allowed on the UMMC campus or on North State Street for at least an hour and a half while officers search for leads.